Bradford. Ready, along with H.C. Drake, with their seconds for their submission match. Very interesting to see who this is. Tom, do you have any info on uh, these people at ringside? Okay, so uh, ringside, we have seconds for a submission match. Yeah. Uh, and this is... A, the part of this is because, obviously, with a submission match, it's tap out, it's pass out, and also the option to throw in the towel. Oh, so, so the, the purpose of second, having a right. second is to have somebody there who, who can make the decision on behalf of their, uh, of their part, of their, their lead. And also, the reason for both of these guys, both being trained by their respective ones. H.T. Drake, uh, who has been running a successful uh, wrestling academy in the northeast of England, has been training Mark Mathers for quite some time. And Mark Mathers, who we've seen competing early, many years before on North Wrestling, uh, is under the learning tree of H.T. Drake and is there to hopefully keep the peace. And uh, Jet Marshall making his first appearance for North tonight. Somebody under the learning tree of Liam Slater. Uh, so they're really here. They're there, as I said, the seconds as part of the submission match ruling. Uh, and also... To, to drink from the fountain I know that oh. I know that Drake announced Mark Mathers would be in his corner and Liam Slater made a point to bring Jet Marshall in uh, as somebody of a similar uh, training style to counteract any Drake-esque shenanigans because Gosh. Matthew as you and I know whilst Drake is a is a commendable wrestler we've seen a lot of that now he's known to shithousery <laughs> yes he is We're willing to take the easy road rather than the scenic route and arm drag escape out of that wrist lock there. Like I said, HG Drake, as some would say, well, he says this, he's got a chance to show what he's made of. Well, put your money where your mouth is, pal. No submission match with the man in the shape of the body, the form of Liam Slater, a man who knows just about that, just about as much of wrestling as you do. Then let's gone for it. Let's see who can do this style of wrestling. And can we will. Liam's. So it's good seeing the, uh, the variety of styles here we have at North. We have had lots of uh, silly sausages, shall we say, uh, happening. We've had some fantastic high flying. We've had Will Cruz slam like third impact into the. Uh, and now earth. the number one contender for the North Championship. He is. He's big, he's bad, oh. he will body slam the champ at some point. I like seeing that, that arm bar behind the back there with. Set up there with the uh, almost like the cattle mutilation, very nice. Uh, obviously, not got any tapping out. Oh, wow, okay, but all the all this body weight on that one hole that's a very nice move. Incredible oh, no, move. Before saying nice things about Haiti Drake here, but obviously, it'll be easy just to demonize people who don't like. But sadly, as commentators, we have to put over the fact that yes, AC Drake is pretty good at the rest. AC Drake has taken great reservation with how as soon as North reopened, there was a whole bunch of debuts from outside of the Northeast. His, his concern... Oh, well, we those. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, his yeah. concern to, towards Bow, Andrew Bowers and the North oh, Committee oh, oh, is that they're not focusing on wrestling here in the Northeast. And he's got a real bee in his bonnet about that, despite the fact that, you know, we've got Liam Slater, one of the most talented, most gifted technical wrestlers of a generation. Why would you say no to somebody because they're not from an any postcode? It sounds like me dad, so once I know the answer, I'll be happy to tell him. I mean, that's why we like NCL, because there is this beautiful blend. Oh, escape, and that just with a few well-observed twists. No one reacted. Sorry about that, Drake. Sorry, that no. But you know what? No, no this one cares is... what you're doing, your little fancy wrestling there. It's because you're a dick. And it's also because like the, the North Faithful oh, are, are just letting look. this right. happen. They're very quietly letting this happen. Also, bear in mind that we've just had the interval. Everyone's a little bit pissed. But they're letting this happen. Pints of pale driver all round. Thank you. Yes, there are other no, the alcohol supplies. Nah, just pale driver. Oh, no, oh, just sorry, only drink only pale drink. driver at Anarchy Brewery. Yes. Nothing else. Have it on your uh -huh. cornflakes in the morning. Put it in. Put it in your. Put it in your contact lens fluid. Always pale driver. Don't put it in your contact lens fluid. Thanks. But what you do, should do. Well, times to watch these two masters of the map. Gan at it. Always good scene. The ongoing feeling out process. They call it. Normally, smash matches end in seconds and take a, a long time to get going. Like the map wrestlers of the very, very old, of the fifties and sixties, because you got to see what your opponent knows. Let's go in there. Firing all cylinders, what if they know the perfect counter to that? So, the human game of chess, as Larry Zabisco used to say. So, there's a single crab, got in the rope there. There's no honor system or anything like that. There is a, see, rope breaks do apply. So, is that to contend with? And hey, what's this little scallywag doing? 
Mark Mather shouldn't be holding the ropes like that, and they oh. pay dividends, and I can't help but feel, and I'm basing it on previous experience, I can't help but feel that HD Drake has, has planted some seeds in the head of Mark Mather mm. that, that may bring his character somewhat into question. All right, help me out, and I'll pay your transport. A little bit, yeah. I believe expenses have been covered to be here tonight. Well, last time these guys were out here, HD Drake, victorious. With his cheating victory over the massage. And last time Liam Stater became this close to winning the NCL title. Matthew's holding his thumb and his forefinger very close together to show you how close that truly is. The background's in radio. Um, this close to winning the NCL title from Robbie Coyle before his little uh, change in personalities. Obviously. More on that later on as he's in the scheduled main event tonight. Whoa, so I'm coming. Convert yeah. it. You're absolutely Let's right. Still to come, the North Championship being decided. The man who came within an inch of winning that title, Liam Slater. He will he will watch like all of us will. Rory Coyle have his first title defense of his second reign against a very capable performer in Cara Noir. That's in our main event tonight, still to come. If you're in a submission match, Tom, what, what move or body part would you favor? Uh, I, for me personally, I think you've got to take out the legs. I think it's the legs, I think it's the knees, the ankles, joint manipulation, all along those parts there. Because you see these guys, they've got such great pace to them. And Slate's are really adept with drop kicks and high kicks and roundhouses. And if you take out those legs, you're going to eliminate a massive chunk of the offense of Liam Slater. Mm. If I was HT Drake, I won't say that too loudly. However, if I was Liam Slater, I'd be thinking slightly differently. Uh, whilst... Whilst Drake is very capable with drop kicks, you know, the, the Geordie long blower and, mm. and the, uh, the time crossing big parts of his moveset, um, he, he has tended to use the cross face quite a bit lately. So I'd be breaking down those arms. I'd be stopping him getting a good purchase by wearing down the arms. So it depends on your opponent. Mm. It really does. Fantastic. I was going to give my thoughts, but you just took all of them. <laughs> I just took all the Thank words. You, Tom. You're not a snack, you're the full meal. <laughs> anyway, back drop there. It does appear to be working on the back currently of Liam Slater, but that's just a temporary but thing. But then it's interesting every decision. other bit of the body. They're both showing, all, showing each other what they've got. But here's why he's working the back, Matthew, because he's going for that surfboard stretch. It's an old school hold, but oh, we do it? with Whoa. new school effect. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Surfing bird, Liam Slater now. High up in the air, and you can't you can't wriggle to the side. You're literally trapped in there. And look at this, HT Drake cross facing at the top. Oh. I was like seeing that one. Very beautiful. Looking. That's just great testament to the uh, to the core strength of HT Drake, who's able to keep Slater there for long enough to do some serious damage. It's as beautiful as the video production here at NCL, which is looking fantastic and the, the brewery looking beautiful as well it really is we're so proud to be here at anarchy brewery the brand new home of north wrestling we're so excited to be part of uh, your calendar every single year and we are coming back just before christmas mark it in your calendar december the 11th it's a saturday night it's the last north show of the oh, year wait, wait, wait. sorry to interrupt you tom but the seconds are getting at it well saturday night's all right for fighting jet marshall and mark mathers getting into it I think Martin Referee Mathers was trying to get involved and Jet yeah. shut him down. He's there for, he's doing a good job as a second if you stopping him then, but he's doing a bloody awful job. What's he? Should be interfering, should be grabbing those ropes. Well, Drake was trying to muscle over Slater for a cloverleaf there, and Slater seemed to, to, to kind of keep Drake, whoa, 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 keep your distance uh, with Drake to stop him locking it all the way in. But there you see Slater holding the back. The, the damage is done! Whoa, God. Head over tit. Can happen to a nicer guy. Down he gans, up he gans. Oh, hold on, no, not carrying on. Up he gans, down he gans. And then rolling into the. Oh, did he get it? Did he quite. Ooh, no, stopping him. He seemed not to have a roar from 2002. Big fan of Lance Storm, so I knew that was coming. And second rope into a crossbody. Oh. I mean, Drake tried to block that with the impact, though, and threw him off, though. It's very nice. I don't know if you can see that from wrestlers. Nicely executed. And now Liam Slater and H.C. Drake at... Uh... Both doing the horizontal dance. That's the okay. one. Oh, wait, ref. Oh, shenanigans from Mark Mathers. What's... The... Oh, look at that. He just threw him a... Oh. 
Mark Mar has helped put the ring together earlier oh, no, tonight. Wait, wait, wait. Good. Oh, thank goodness for Jet Marshall being there. Wait. Jet. Whoa! Fantastic. Well, he's doing a good job as a second, but has uh, he not seen anything? Oh, double storm to the back. I mean, that's nice. I mean, that's, you know, he's doing his job there, but the referee is distracted by him on the outside. Hazy Ray has got that big metal steel. Oh, no, Liam blocked it. it. Oh, the ref has seen it. Fantastic. Still in the ring, though. We're getting there. But now Liam Slater. Like that thing up behind the back. Uh, the seconds go into the back. Wow, this is perfect situation for Liam then. He's on top of him. He's got the leg wrapped around the back of him. Nowhere for him to go. A very unique half crab. Tightly half crab. applied. Oh. Half crab, all killer from Liam Slater. Uh, I don't know if my uh, headset's a bit wonky, but uh, can you hear booing? A mixed response to to Liam Slater. Oh, I know Liam's having a go at some of them. Well, we know there's um, there, there's a small contingent in the crowd who, for lack of a better term, like to get themselves over. Bless them, Liam Slater. Oh. Win it over for the North Faithful. Oh. Great result jury. for Slater. Yeah, bit of jury pride here, perhaps. Can't blame him for it. But Liam Slater, hey, did nothing wrong in this match. The Eight. seconds cancel each other out. H.E. Drake was forced to wrestle like a wrestler. It's what he wanted. And now Liam Slater, the victor. What will be next on his lineup, though? Will it be get revenge on Rory Coyle? 